Hello and welcome to another Division video. In this video I will fulfill another request I got from one of my subscribers to do a guide on Napalm production site Legendary Difficulty Solo, a uh, really long name I need a breathe, uh, using a sniper rifle. And of course I will share it with this gameplay live commented to you and showing you all my dirty secrets on this mission. No, I, I'll show you my tricks and what I'm looking at. So, but first of all, I would really like to have your feedback uh, about the project I have in mind. And the project would be to compare the three different sniper builds available in 1.8 or later the Hunter's Faith, Sentry and Hexo Classified. I know there are a couple other sniper builds as well, or they could use at least a sniper build. One of them, yeah. That I, for me, honestly, it's not a really sniper build. But if you would be interested to have another one as well compared to the three, then just leave it in the comment section down below. And yeah, I'll just do this video if I got a lot of requests or comments from your side. If this would be interesting, then I will put the effort to do such a video for you as well. But for this one, I think just let's start it and see how it works on this mission we're using the sniper build yeah this one is the hexo classy i test out in 1.8 everything next out and i changed one thing i'm using now the reckless chest piece so i have to be a little bit more careful than usually because yeah reckless as you know increased the damage 10 percent incoming damage and that's why i have to be a little bit more careful so the first guy i have to use wrong grenade <laughs> for talking that much so if this guy rushes you up here after you can prepare yourself with a grenade most of the time I use this one incinerary grenade and you can kill him pretty easy if you don't have a pulse just watch the minimap and the, when the red got bigger then he's close to you and you can throw the grenade the rest of this part should be pretty easy so just clear out this couple guys up here with a couple shots and you should be pretty fine just stand all the time behind this rock and it should be pretty easy so the other advantage if you are behind here then the shotties that came out that they spawn as next they don't come behind here and you can kill them pretty easy so if you don't hit the steel pipe yes my buddy Andre this was <laughs> A link to you no just a joke an insider and but not too much choking otherwise my aim is crappier than it should be so let's concentrate again yeah and kill these guys up here should be not that hard as I said this first part of the mission if they don't move you can just shoot a little bit around in the air and they will move Sooner or later, or not yet, come on, buddy. Come on. Move your butt. There, there, I want you behind this one. And then let's kill this guy down first. Oh, now he moved. Nice guy. So Yeah, and as a good old hockey teacher I had always said, give the puck a chance to hit the goal or go into the goal. That's why I shoot sometimes a little bit more often. So just give the bullet a chance to hit the target. And that's why I don't hit all my bullets as well. So let's see if we can get this guy down there. Or this guy back there. What? Come on. Again, this steel pipe. Annoying one. Will you kidding me? No. Yeah, usually it went faster if they stand on better spots. There is a... 
gas box as well so just shoot it and yeah first part already done so you will see in the whole gameplay I use almost the same strategy as with my tactician build if you saw this guy already the next part I do have a little bit of a different spot I'm standing at with my sniper build so the spot I use with my tech build is right here behind this wall here and with my sniper I just run past this area it works usually pretty nice these guys here the grannies are most of the time more confused that you just run past them and yeah it works usually pretty well so just hide behind this wood planks here if this guy places the healing box that well of course then just destroy it quickly but it doesn't make anything although they are in the healing box you are still able to kill them pretty fast and then yes just kill one of each other work your way through the NPCs if they don't move then you have to move as usual as soon one guy is shooting you go back in cover then they move as well so and then always focus the guy that is all the way on the left side two headshots okay this was the sticky from the agent the most scary thing on this part and as I said always focus the guy that is all the way left and always watch your health as well so it sometimes can a bit tricky if you scoped in control your surroundings but in its practice and the health bar is on the left side so have this one always in mind and then yeah as I said this part should be pretty easy as well just this annoying guy down there but two or three shots and he's gone too and I guess not that many left RPM is a little bit too low to hit them two times in a row. So then let's see, this guy's still there. How many left? One or two? One. Just the one grinny. And second part done. So then let's quickly restock and go to the scaffolding on the second level as well as you with your tech build I do have a little bit of a different strategy for up here as you probably know I focus first all the time the healers with my tech build because you can one shot them solo pretty easy with the sticky but because it's no longer global event here and you can't one shot the healer with his sniper at the moment that's why I focus first on the snipers up there so if you are lucky then you can get both of them with two shots then as soon as you kill one of them you probably know it already the two grenadiers are spawning back there for this part I just go behind the barrel this is my preferred sniper spot and kill these guys from up here so the first thing if you see yeah, my health is pretty low I have to be a little bit careful wait for my heal but I do have strike back so I get a faster cooldown and then kill this guy one of each other just take your time you don't have a timer limit up here and yeah the LNG boys they're coming up here as well the nice thing they don't go in cover that much that's why killing them is not that hard as the other one so let's focus the second to learning as next shoot grenades to jump back shoot always over the head again when they shoot or plant shoot a grenade 
and then just jump back. So we got already both of them. Peter is up there. We can try to kill these guys from here. Or go to my preferred spot. If they hide too long and too much. And if you see always when you aim at them. They go back in cover. And the other starts shooting. <laughs> Again. That makes sniping sometimes a little bit difficult. He jumps back down. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. And now when you run away, then they shoot you in the back, as in PvP. <laughs> so just go behind this cover again. Usually they don't stand that long above. Yeah, he goes back down, as you see. And then just kill these guys, one after each other. Oh, the LMG guy, the second one. I saw already where he is. Usually both come up there. Come on, buddy. Don't hide. Be a good boy. Yeah, meanwhile, just focus the other guy. As you see, if you hit them once, then most of the time they just jump away and run away can be annoying as well but for now there's another red bar get this guy first to try it at least give the bullet a chance to hit the target yeah, and sometimes you can almost shoot three times the same direction the same way once you hiss, hit once you miss it's a little bit luck in my opinion as well. So let's quickly check where the healing box is. Can we destroy it from up here? No we can't. And yeah, you have to watch the surroundings all the time. Shotties can rush you up here sometimes. So always check quickly on the mini map if there is a red sign behind you or not. If so, then yeah, be careful. <laughs> Don't die. Don't do it all over again. And as I said, there's no timer limit, so no point of hurrying too much. Yes, Mr. Killer is down. So then let's see where these guys are running at. For the moment we can... If there's just a shot is left, I think the mechanic should be somewhere too. I can't, yeah there is, I can't remember that I killed a mechanic so far. But the shot is you can... Off. Most of the time it just stand still. Pretty easy in one shot with a headshot. So that's why I focused them first. Run buddy, run! So second spawn, probably you know it, upstairs to veteran grenadiers and the squad leader. So you can try to land a couple shots. We already shoot a grenade, so just no reason. I hate it if they go back in cover again, if you jump away. <coughs> so just go to the same spot, rinse and repeat, and kill one guy after each other from up here. And as you see now, although it is guy standing in the healing box, you're still able to kill him. Is like that guy? Yeah. No, 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 don't move. There is a shield guy again back there. If 
potato. Move grenade back there. Okay. And of course, let's get this guy first. Okay, the bullet chance to hit the target again. So not that many left, I guess. Shield is moving now. That's nice. Let's just go back. We got already both grannies, so it should be not that hard anymore. Mr. Healer, stand still. Yes, nice. Oh my gosh, this is the head of the dead guy. And this other guy is almost at the same spot. It's pretty annoying. Watch your health, buddy. Watch your health. And as you see, you're usually pretty safe back here. If you use this box for sniping, it works as well if somebody who is running a sniper boat. I really like to do this mission with my body, of course, as well. And then sometimes I use a tech build, or he and me, or he uses a sniper build. And this works pretty well, this box there too. So we we'll finish them off. And soon are some shoppies, and then we did this part already too. I think as soon as this guy is dead, and as you see, the different things I'm using spot a snap aim like this if I'm in the front, or scoping in the back. And as I said, you always have a different angle, so test out what works for the situation you're in. So, these guys are really easy to kill from up here. They run around a little bit at the beginning, stand still and shoot, and then you're able to kill them pretty easy. Yes, that's nice, my friend, that's nice. Oh my gosh, not a headshot. So, one guy left. Then already prepare for the assault. So done. Then let's go quickly restock down there. Just grab some bullets for the next part. And as you will see, it's not that hard too, especially the come on. The first wave with the shot this. Yeah, I can really remember the first time I did this with my buddies here. It was the most scary moment of the whole mission. This one and the four agents at the end. Yeah, the, these guys, if you're on the wrong spot, they rush you pretty hard. They hit really hard. And yeah, it was... It caused a lot of fear in us at the beginning. Hey guys, what what's going on with you? Are you stupid? Why? They never go back there. So anyway, they come back. So I have to be careful, watch my health. As you know, I do run a rock quest. If you can, try to leave one red bar alive. You will see why at the end. Why at the end. And just kill one of each other. It's a really nice thing up here. To improve your snapshot, I just wait for my heal. I don't want the super that clock. And kill one of each other. And they are set for snap aiming, it's pretty nice. 
you, they can hit you behind here, you could use it can shoot, I don't have anyone at the moment uh, to improve the healing back here. I don't know why, I'm just use a flame bird. Uh, flame bird. Just to do something in while, while I'm waiting for the heal. So this guy tried to leave alive. Is it the last one? No, there is another one. So then let's wait. Two other ones. Okie doke. Then... Headshot for you, baby. I think it's the last one. So the reason why I leave him alive is that you have enough time to change your position. It's possible to clear out the second and third wave from up here as well. I did it about two or three times so far. It can work, but uh, it can work not too. It can be pretty hard because they can rush you up there. So I have to be silent, not that this guy hears me. Uh, they can rush you up here. Oh, what is uh, Not rush you, sorry. There are some agents and grenadiers, and especially the agents with the sticky. They can be really annoying and kill you pretty fast. That's why I like to go back safer and usually not slower than standing upstairs. So just go back to the previous part. And yeah, for the first runs I did, this is a new try here or a new test with the reckless and the different skills. Because usually I run this mission with uh, two healing skills, the life saver and the first aid self heal. But for now I tried with a bit more damage, pulse and reckless. I don't know if they spotted me already. At least now I guess. Yeah, at least now. <coughs> so here the same, always watch the guy all the way on the left side. Try to kill him first. Take your time, no time limit here at all, and kill one after each other. Five rounds. If all are hiding, use the time to reload. If you don't have hunter space, then you would leave. Uh, you'd lose the stack, to increase damage. As I said at the beginning, if you're interested in such a video comparing the sniper builds, then I really, really do appreciate your comment down below. Just let me know. And yeah, at the moment, definitely the two sets I'm looking for the most in the next patch are the Hunter's Faith and the Nomads. Pass of Nomad, really, really awesome. Survivability is incredibly high. I did a gameplay as well, you can check it out on my channel, uh, where I finished Time Square, Power Relay, Legendary, with an LMG and Nomad. And it's really nice to do. So, and Hunter Space, yeah, I think it can be, could be one of my favorite sniper builds in the future. Uh, the only thing is really, as I said, 4-piece bonus in my opinion is not that good. They should finally change it. I think it's not without reason that most of the players told it's the most useless set or the set they would like to have improved and they didn't do shit about. So that's kinda annoying. Although 6-piece is really nice, but yeah, 4 piece is not worth using. Shotty. Just shoot everybody. Oh. Everything that moves you have to shoot. They're hiding really hard at the moment. You can try to shoot LMG, yeah, it works a little bit. 
to try to move ar around as well. What? Come on. Be a good boy. Come on. Be a good boy. Stick your head. No. And they always know when you aim at them. It's kind of annoying. They sometimes stick the head a little bit. That's why I try to shoot that often down there. So finally. If you don't see anyone or play with two wheels, just go a little bit in front here. And sooner or later they will shoot at you. This is one thing you can do or just shoot about the tank. Something that explodes. And most of the time, as you see, they will move. These are the options you have if they hide too hard. Almost. So, one red bar behind. The healer definitely not up there. I would really appreciate Mr. Healer if you would come down here. Oh, still a squad leader up there too. So there is a red bar, we have to be careful about him. At least the healer is coming down. <coughs> and not longer in his healing box. Three guys left as you see. F4. Sorry, I want two, three, four. stands a little bit weird for you just aim through your scope if you're on the right angle they don't can hit you but you can hit them <coughs> it's coming a little bit too close so back up they still do enjoy to hit you or melee you Two left from the second wave. I would like if you would move up there. Come on. Probably I can hit him from here. Finally. <clears throat> Where are you? Where are you? There's still a grenadier left too. Red bar grenadier. Lightly to the head. 
slightly now. So then just the granny somewhere is coming now. If you fight grenadiers it's dangerous to aim to your scope. Because you don't see that good. Yeah, and if you just fight him then he hurts. But otherwise it can be when he shoots the grenade not that easy. So he rush and change the weapon. Last guy, so for the next spawn just go back again. Now the shield heavies <coughs> and agents. And yeah, be careful about the agents, they use stickies as well. almost impossible to kill these guys from down here they stand up there but same here take your time always watch the left side first and kill one after each other yeah from this shield heavies you can shoot the foot shoot the arm with the weapon and sometimes it works too if you shoot the head but it's not always the easiest one and most of the time it works best when you shoot a little bit <coughs> on the left side from the middle and a little bit above most of the time but now concentrate on this guy here. He's the sticky guy. Come on, that was at least one hit. Finally. There's the next agent, and sometimes you can shoot the thing he has through. Works not all the time. And as before, if they don't move, just move a little bit. I just checked if he shot the sticky. They hide reload. bit more. It's the most dangerous guy. There's usually a sniper in this spot up there. Not now. And he shoots down with a pistol. It's not that yeah, funny. There's the sniper. And they're hiding pretty hard, so shoot a grenade to make a move. on our light flashing so he starts to aim ok 
Okay, all down there. Nobody. Don't shoot a grenade. yourself a little bit again. Yeah, he's moving. Shoot at the light from the sniper. And if I have some pauses about uh, while I'm talking or be a little bit more silent sometimes then it's just automatically because I have to concentrate a little bit. It can happen pretty fast that you die here and this is not my plan. Especially not yet when we're so close at the checkpoint. So just a couple guys left. And although you have just pistols they hit really hard, so watch your health. And I always try to kill the small guys first. Like this one here. And at the end, focus the shield heavies. And that's really why I like the M44 over the Carbon M700. Because the optimal range is just a lot higher. Of course, with both guns you have to land your shots. But you wouldn't do that much damage on this distance with an M700. So once heavy we killed already, I guess if I'm right, then focus the next one. And it's not a longer turned around. Otherwise, of course, you can hit the backpack as well. This guy's really weird. Don't grab your balls when you're in fight, buddy. As you see, it's hard to hit the head, so just shoot what you can see. At least I think this is the first, yeah, this side. And bye-bye. Second one, then there should be one elite grenadier, I guess, and two shield heavies left. Pretty sure. Oh, the light is a little bit annoying. That's rushing. The green again. So then there should be two shield guys left. Soon one. Right now. He's up again. Okay, you're a funny guy. So you can try to kill him from down here. 
or because I'm pretty sure it's the last guy. Oh, I don't have that much bullets left. Quickly restock. Grab the grenade. Try not to die. There are some medkits around here, so I just used one to be sure, safe, and just go on the second level here. And then it's most of the time easier to kill him from up here. Oh. Especially if you stand still like this. So, checkpoint. Then go to the next part together. There should be medkits. Here is one. There is one as well if you need more. And there are three healers, so at least three medkits laying around here. And the one in the back, so four. You can definitely use some if you have to. So this part should be pretty easy as well. Sometimes this part you through here, through this hole. But very seldom in my opinion. If this happens, this is really annoying. Then you don't have that much chances to just back up and kill them from outside, one by one. But if it works like intended, like now, just go in. Kill one of them with a proper headshot. Go back here, wait for the other one. He will rush you. Come on, you scared. Kill him too. Funny, that's not that long that the healer rushes you out here too. He's not coming back here. But it sprints out sometimes. And then I usually go to my preferred spot back here. You have to watch your health, the squad leader is all most of the time shooting from the stairs. And the purple guys just go down, but as I said when he's coped in. Hard to see what happens around you. But otherwise it should be pretty easy to kill them from here. Two proper shots and the healer is down. So where are they hiding? Two, three guys. If I can kill this guy up there, then I change my position again. Yeah, these NPCs take it really serious that it is a cover based shooter. <laughs> Most of the time. As you see, he will shoot from back there. This is really hard, so be careful about this guy. And now, because there's just two left, are they both down there? Okay. Otherwise, you can just go behind this red carpet. They'll go up again usually, and you can kill them pretty easy with snap aiming. And you see, I really like to scope in and shoot. It gives me more the feeling of a sniper to be a sniper. Yeah, and here you can just snap aim with the stick you have. And you should be pretty, pretty fine to clear out this area. Then the next part, probably most of you know it already I guess. There are two agents. Uh, one agent, sorry, and three shield guys. So I use a flame grenade first. <coughs> Just shoot it at the entrance where they came out. To hurt them already good and stop them from moving. Just go back again. Just to show them where you are. So the thing you will achieve is that one of these shield guys is rushing you. So be careful of the agent. This here you see now, and this can kill you. We are pretty safe at the moment because we still have the recovery link. But yeah, if it doesn't have to be, then then I just save it for later. Come on, guys. Yeah, 
Yeah, come down here, buddy. I made a party for you. So Yeah, one oh, is it agent? Oh no no, it's just running like the agent. And yeah, there's annoying agent. Back up, this is too close. So, then we have to check. Sometimes they come out here. Earlier they didn't do it, but at the moment they usually come out here as well. So, just be careful. There are just two guys down here, that's really awesome. Most of the time all three are together. And they usually go down there on this spot and you can kill them pretty easy. Of course if you feel a little bit uh, yeah, not that comfortable to do to stand on this part, then just Oh, is he coming back out? You are annoying my friend. Use a grenade. Finish him off. And as you see, one guy standing down there. The other guy is going too. And you can finish them off. Pretty easy. If the agent is rushing at the same time as the shield is, it happens very seldom. Then you have just one chance. Go in the previous area you were before. On scaffolding. And kill them like the others. But as you see, as usual, this is the usual way and usually the, the agent is sitting in the box up there. So if this happens, yeah, come on, explode. What you're doing, you Funny, funny. Uh, let's see. No, he's not up there. Okay. Funny. Then let's go back. He spotted me now. I think he will soon come down as well. Yeah, he will. He will, he will. And just be careful if you see the sign, the sticky sign over his head, then run. if you have this is not the best one what are you kidding me and I was using the the oh. as you see this guy is really annoying uh, I was using the med kit just for safety to have a little bit more stamina I do have crit safe, as you probably know on my talents, almost all, well, on every build. And if you use a med kit, you have more resistance. But yeah, be careful. As I said, the agent is almost the most annoying guy here, and the dangerous guy. And yeah, that's why you have to be careful about him. So let's visit the four agents and do the final part together. For this part, I will leave the same setup for the first boss. As soon as I killed the first one, I will change my pulse to a uh, immunizer, just that I can stand upstairs on the top floor and shoot down. This is the only reason, and yeah, to have a little bit more survivability for this part. Because yeah, as before, my plan is not to die yet and to do it all over again, or at least from the checkpoint. So be careful and watch your surroundings, as always. For this part here, I really don't care, me personally, which guy I shoot first. I just go for this guy up here, left side on the top, try to land a proper headshot. They do have about 4 million health, so at the moment there's no point of one-shotting them. 
and yeah, if you shoot Widow first, usually, oh, he, she, he, whatever, places the healing box, and yeah, it's really hard to kill her as first. That's why I really don't care. Most of the time. Uh, and red back. Mr. Sticky guy. He rushing up here. Be careful, sometimes one guy is rushing you up here. Um, yeah, I really do prefer at the beginning to kill red back if possible. More than Widow. And save Widow for the last part. So yeah, most times anyway. She places healing boxes after healing boxes. I think he is going up here. Let's welcome him with a grenade. I think he had enough. Yeah, this guy is annoying to run to love because he has fire bullets. You always start to burn. Going up again. Yeah, please. So, another gift for you. I think he's burning, burning, burning. So, he's coming on this side. Just be careful. One or two, one headshot more. So as soon as this come, always watch around the... What the... Usually it works. <laughs> just moving forward and just move back. Make a dance. He stands still for a while. I can try to go a bit closer. Damage over time. Yes, and the first one done. And it just placed the turret as well. So as you know from my tech build video guide to this mission, here is the spot where you don't get burned. So now as I said, how I use the pause again. That was wrong. It's the rupture. And I know it's cheesy, but they can shoot this thing with through too. So, why not? And as soon as I got my pulse back, I changed to immunizer. That I can move a little bit more instead of just standing on this spot here. One shot they are killed already. As you probably know, as soon as you killed the first agent, then there will spawn two. Uh, three, sorry, three shotgunners. As soon as you kill the second one, two LMBs. As soon as you kill the third one, two shield heavies. And yeah, that's why a reason why I don't go down now is three. <laughs> one of them, no, two of them are alive. One of them are killed. The two shotties, they rush you pretty hard. And Redback. So as long as Redback is alive, I would not recommend to go down. This guy here. Yeah, if Redback is dead, then I... Oh no, what the... I thought it's the box. <laughs> Then Widow and uh, Mrs. Mr. Deadeye. 
Is he on the floor down here? Or no, one floor down. So shot he is shooting up. Then is one shot to left. See now this no, still one floor down. Cook cook. Yeah, and you can sometimes go down a little bit, aggro them. Oh, the healing box is upstairs, that's pretty nice. <coughs> to aggro them and make them move. And as long as you do have the recovery link, you should be pretty fine. Who is shooting me from back there? Is it red back? Oh no, the shot here. What? What, 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 what? So let's use the heal, destroy the box. Now as we know that he's here, we are better prepared and here the same. Just take your time. Wait for the healing box. Mr. Salty. Oh, this was a little bit wrong. And the last guy. Give a little laugh, give a little laugh. So, where they are hiding? Really? Are you kidding me? All of you are back here. What the hell? So come on buddies. Move a little oh I douche do 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 and he run past me. Funny guy. At least I hope they move now a little bit and I can shoot them. As you see sometimes you have to be a little bit creative. Come please a little bit more in front, my friend. So who was shooting me from back there? Oh, down there. And this was Mr. Red back. So one guy. Oh, that's not... No, 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 please, my friend, stay there. And although I could destroy the box up there, I wouldn't do it. Because all of them are down here at the moment. And this is pretty pretty nice, because she can just place one box at a time. And they don't get healed, so that's really awesome. Back there, back there. Come Widow darling. Don't go back again. <coughs> ah, you guys are annoying today. So I just wait for my buff. Go down again to check the situation. There are really all of them hiding there. That's so annoying. 
Yeah, I use an EP. Don't have that much more grenades. Let's hope they move. Leader Dead Eye. Widow. Of course, I would like to get Widow first if I can. If I can. What? Somebody. Okay. Yeah, always watch your surroundings. Now Redback is coming there too. So wait again for the boss. And you see, it's a little bit more complicated compared to a tactician build. Because then you could just throw down Seekers and you can damage them over time. Just widow up here now. Red back all the way down. Not. Not there. Give it a little love. Give it a little love. So I need my box that I don't start burning. That I can move a little bit back. No, 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 no. Yes, darling, you're there. So no healer anymore. But the red pack is still alive. Leader. And now the two LMG guys will spawn. Procedure to wait for the box. And yeah, here it's definitely an advantage if you have a little bit more skill power. And still haste is downstairs, I guess. But somewhere should be the two LMGs now at the spot of me. So then I will try to kill them first before I engage with the last two agents. one of them. Where's the second one? Still up there. Back there. Down two. So right now Red Pack is still alive. I still have my super. That's why I decide now to go down. I killed already the two LMGs. He's all the way down. Or isn't he? So we have to be careful. Come on buddy. There he's he rests up here. So let's go back a little bit. And be careful with the sticky guy. One little shot, one little shot, yes. So now the two L uh, shield heavies will spawn and the weaver is still alive somewhere. Now we would have an option to just go back up again and kill the shield heavies from up there. We can just try to kill them from here. If Weaver would be there, yeah, she is. And she goes now in cover. Then we could just kill Weaver and run out of this building. If I play this, anyway, I just 
care about the exotic cash and the Phoenix credits at the end. And not that much about the loot because you don't get classified. I never got, let's say, this way from this process. So she's down there, she's annoying. They're really annoying back today. So much hiding. The snap aim is usually almost a little bit too deep all the time. Is she now up here? Yeah, she's... No, the... Oh. Okay, it's fine for me too. Oh, I'm disrupted! I'm disrupted! You can use a map kit too get rid of the disruption. You can use uh, energy bar to get rid of the disruption or the status effect. But she hits really really hard with her SUV. But usually three shots or four shots. As you see from up here it's not Best, of course, is when you can hit her while she's shooting a sticky. Sometimes three shots and she goes down, sometimes four. So let's do the same to her. Disrupted herself or he. One couple shot more. So, and let's get out of here. I think there's just. I still have my recovery link, so. Should be fine. And yeah, if you just want to leave the building and uh, will you get the loot, then I just can recommend to the mission again. If you anyway play for the weeklies. Just play again on hard, it's like kindergarten after this. And you can grab the loot at the end, although you do it again on another difficulty. So yes, but this was legendary Napalm production site with a sniper build. Done, soloed, finished, job done. And yes, thanks a lot for watching. You are great. I really appreciate it and see you in the next one. Bye bye.